friends, Kim Kreitzer for CVSI Services, our talking business interview program. Uh, our company uh, provides insurance-backed benefits in the credit card and payment space, and we're based in Harrison, New York. And we're very pleased to talk today with one of our, our friends and attorney, Josh, Joshua Stevens, who's a partner at McMurray and Schuster in Columbus, Ohio, a firm that uh, specializes in consumer protection, compliance, and defense, and uh, works extensively uh, for one of our uh, good partners, the PACE Professional Association for Customer Engagement. Uh, Michelle Schuster has been very active representing them for a number of years. And on Thursday, September 16th at 12 noon, Josh is going to join a paddle for the Direct Marketing Club of New York, our annual privacy summit. And uh, joining uh, Jordan Abbott, the Chief Privacy Officer of Axiom, and Sheila Kolkashur, who is a former Axiom executive, now Chief Global Digital uh, Officer for IBG. Kineso, formerly, uh, again, she was with Axiom. Josh, good to see you. Uh, uh, tell us, what, what, what are you going to talk about at the DM Club of New York uh, privacy session? Yeah, well, Ken, we're going to talk about a variety of, of things, and I think it's going to be really engaging for the audience. Um, one of the topics we're going to discuss is the rise of privacy regulation at the state level and through business, as opposed to a federal law, and how a federal law could bring some consistency to the world of privacy. So, yeah, so I think this is going to be a fascinating panel. Uh, I think all the attendees are really going to walk uh, away from this with a lot of insight into what's going on. We're going to be discussing the development of privacy regulation here in the United States on a state-by-state -state level and really the need for federal regulation because state-by-state -state regulation is creating a lot of inconsistencies that businesses are struggling to navigate. We're also going to talk about how there's this buildup of informal regulation from Apple and Google and other industry players who are sort of forcing companies into making uh, certain privacy choices that the formal regulation doesn't necessarily require. And we're going to talk about how the participants can get involved because, you know, one of the things that I think is important here is not just knowing what's going on, but it's knowing what to do with that information. And so we're going to talk about how people can actually get involved, make their voices heard, and hopefully influence what's happening in the regulatory world. And what we've seen, and, and you've described in other sessions, is that uh, what the European Union does on data privacy seems to be followed very closely by states such as California, most importantly, mm -hmm. and then other states. And what uh, marketers and brands are concerned about is uh, having so many different state regulation to uh, comply with. They'd really like to have one federal uh, regulation, one regu one federal standard, as you described uh, uh, in that. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your firm, uh, McMurray & Schuster. Yeah, we are a consumer protection, compliance, and defense firm based in Ohio. Our job is to help companies understand where the lines are and how to make great business choices while hopefully staying within the guardrails. Uh, and understand the risks and how, how to mitigate those risks. My job specifically, I'm on the compliance side. I stay, I stay away from litigation. But, you know, I really enjoy working with businesses, particularly around privacy issues and marketing and advertising issues, to help them make their business decisions in the most optimal way possible. Hey, I got, I got to ask you about uh, something we talked about this spring. You were involved with uh, a case that went uh, before the Supreme Court. Yeah. And uh, a, a brief that you helped uh, contribute to uh, was cited as uh, in that uh, situation. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's the uh, Facebook v. Duga decision, which came out in April, holding that an automatic telephone dialing system under the Telephone Consumer Protection Act uh, requires random or sequential number generation. And this was an area where there was you know, real debate at the circuit court level as to how broadly to construe that definition. Some courts said, if it can just dial from a stored list, that's enough. Others said, no, you really have to use that number generator 
to produce or store those numbers. And so uh, we co I helped co-author a brief uh, for PACE and we uh, were cited by the court favorably in holding the narrow definition is the definition that applies. And, you know, it's funny, Ken, after, after that came out, the footnote that our brief was discussed in, we were discussed in the body and then the footnote, uh, it became a source of some concern because the court used language that was a little soft, was a little broad. And since that time, a uh, number of courts have come along and said, no, if you go back and actually read that brief, you know exactly what the court was saying, which is calling from a stored list is not an ATDS. Um, so now obviously there's nuance and everything and, you know, I got to give the disclaimer, this isn't legal advice, but, uh, but it was, it was a great decision. And, and I think, uh, for marketers, a real boon. Well, a notable, uh, 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 contribution, uh, in that, uh, Supreme Court ruling, uh, for you, uh, your, and your firm. And we appreciate you, the work you folks do for PACE Professional Association for Customer Engagement, but we will look forward to, uh, you participating and contributing to the Direct Marketing Club of New York, uh, 95 years old, we just, uh, we just checked, uh, and uh, uh, to the annual Data Privacy Summit, which will be 12 noon on the 16th of September, and that can be watched online. More information at DM Club of New York. Josh Stevens, thank you. Great to talk with you today. Thank you, Ken. Always good chatting with you. A pleasure. And it's Ken Kratzer for CBSI Services. We provide insurance back benefits to the credit card industry. And I'm in my home office today in White Plains, New York. Have a good day.